According to Surah 3, verse 54, and Surah 8, verse 30 of the Quran, Allah is the best of deceivers. But no one wants to admit that they worship someone who brags about being the best of deceivers, so translators will make the verses say that Allah is the best of plotters, or the best of planners, or the best of schemers. Translators have to conceal the deception of their God. Not surprisingly, the most popular apologists for the God who brags about being the best of deceivers are compulsive liars. People like Zakir Naik and Yusuf Estes will make up absolutely anything to convince their gullible listeners to submit to the best of deceivers. What's interesting is that when you expose the lies of someone like Zakir Naik, his followers will lie about his lies. I kid you not, I see it every time I post a video exposing some lie of Zakir Naik. Let's look at an example. Yesterday, I posted a short video, barely over a minute, exposing one of Zakir Naik's many, many lies about the Bible. Here's a short clip from my short video. And there's not a single verse anywhere in the gospel which says that Jesus, peace be upon him, was resurrected. There's not a single verse, not a single verse anywhere in the gospel, anywhere in the gospel, which says that Jesus, peace be upon him, was resurrected. So, Zakir Naik claimed that the Gospels never say that Jesus was resurrected when the Gospels clearly say that Jesus was resurrected. The correct reaction to a video like this should be, wow, either Zakir Naik doesn't know what he's talking about or he's lying. Either way, I need to be careful when I listen to him. But how do his fans actually react? Health Wisdom, one of our frequent Muslim commenters and a huge fan of Zakir Naik, replied, Doctored footage. The actual statement is, is God. So, according to Health Wisdom, Zakir Naik didn't really say, There's not a single verse anywhere in the gospel which says that Jesus, peace be upon him, was resurrected. Instead, Zakir Naik said, There's not a single verse anywhere in the gospel which says that Jesus, peace be upon him, is God. Health Wisdom accuses me of deceptively editing the footage to make it look like Zucker Nike was falsely claiming that the Gospels never say that Jesus was resurrected. Of course, anyone can go to Zucker Nike's debate on the resurrection and see exactly what he said. And there's not a single verse anywhere in the Gospel which says that Jesus, peace be upon him, was resurrected. Notice this graphic is theirs. They add graphics and sound effects to try to make Zucker Nike's points more impressive. You can even see the Peace TV logo over it. In case there's any doubt, I'll put the link to the debate on Zucker Nike's channel in the description box with the timestamp so you can verify. So why do Zucker Nike's fans lie like this? I mean, constantly. They're worried that if Muslims and non-Muslims realize that Zakir Naik is just making things up, people might not trust him. But many Muslims have no other basis for believing in Islam apart from the Zakir Naik videos they watch. So if Zakir Naik is exposed as the liar that he is, the avalanche of apostasy will accelerate. His fans don't want the avalanche to accelerate, so they do what they've seen Zakir Naik do for decades. They make things up hoping that no one will take the simple step of doing the 30 seconds of research it would take to expose the lie. Why do Nike's fans think they can get away with making things up? Because Zakir Nike has been getting away with it for decades. It's Islam's 99-1 rule. If you lie to a hundred people, maybe one of them will bother to investigate what you've said. But if the one investigates what you've said and he figures out that you've lied, he can be silenced by the 99 who gullibly accept anything you say. This has been Islam's main tactic since the time of Muhammad. So, Allah brags about being the best of deceivers. Muhammad, Allah's final prophet, spent 23 years making things up. 
Islam's greatest defenders today spend their entire careers making things up. In fact, the better you are at lying, the more popular you'll become. And when you expose one of their lies, their fans will lie to cover up their lies. Lie upon lie upon lie upon lie upon lie. All of this leads to an obvious question for all of you Zucker Nike fans out there. Zucker Nike fans of the world, all we see from you and from the heroes you worship is lies. If Islam were really the truth, would it need this bottomless pit of lies? This is a powerful religion, there's a reason to it. Yeah? Yeah?